We are on episode three in a three episode series on tricks for your dogs. I'm here in Georgia with professional dog trainer Maureen Cuccinella at her business, Spirited Canine, and she's gonna be going over five really cool, unique tricks that you could teach your dogs. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the next trick we're gonna teach is a really fun one and it's pretty practical. It's how to teach your dog to wipe their paws on a rug, okay? So really nice on those muddy days because it actually does work pretty well for that. So obviously you need a rug and you need some treats, okay? So I got some of these freeze dry treats here. So I'm gonna take these treats and I'm going to put them under the corner of the rug, okay? So you see she already knows what's going on. I'm gonna put them under the corner here and I wanna make sure that maybe I'm holding it down so the dog doesn't try to use their nose to get the, the treats up. I want them to use their feet. So I'm gonna bring her back over here because she remembered the other corner. We just did a practice run. Celia, come here, look. And we're gonna see here, can you see it? I can show it to her if she needs to see it. Oh yeah, see? Yes, I'll mark and then I'll open it up and let her get it, okay? Oh yeah, that was a good little jackpot there, huh? So then we're gonna do that again. Ready? Yes, good job. And I open the corner, okay? And then this time I'm gonna wait until she uses her other foot, all right, because I want the dog to use both their feet at some point, not just one foot. So I'm gonna put them right on this, the rug here and I'm gonna wait, yes, she used her other foot. So I'm gonna go ahead and reward her. Now we can get it on cue since it's predictable. So I'll tell her, wipe your paws. And I say it in that tone, <laughs> look at you. <laughs> and I'm gonna say it in that tone so it's nice and consistent, wipe your paws. Yes, good girl. And I open up the rug. And then eventually you can move your body away from it, okay? So that way you're not part of the cue. Wipe your paws. Yes, you're so cute. <laughs> and then I open up the rug. And then you can also now introduce this kind of motion for fun. So make it look like um, you're, you're doing it together. If you're like doing a cute little video or something. There we go. Wipe your paws. Yes, good job. And I open up the rug. And eventually you just fade out the food. No big deal. Very easy to fade out the food. Um, sometimes I'll just ask her to do it. So wipe your paws. <laughs> Yes, and I'll just mark for it and deliver the food right to her mouth. Uh, very easy trick, very useful trick, really cute trick. Um, wipe your paws. Okay, so this next trick that we have is shame on you. Okay, so this is where I pretend to be mad at her. I say shame on you, and she's supposed to run and, well, not I say run, she'll walk quickly and hide her head under this pillow. So it's really cute looking. So here's the end result. Celia, shame on you. Yes, good job. <laughs> She's sniffing around under there for some snacks. Um, but it's really easy to teach at first. So you need a pillow or some kind of object that your dog can hide their face under. So pillow's right here. And I'll take some snacks. Celia, you still thinking about that rug? <laughs> yeah. And I'm going to just put the snack under here and let her get it. Just like that. Very, very easy, right? So I'll just put it under the pillow. Just like that put it under the pillow, right? I'm not really even marking because the dog is just going after the food, right? There's nothing really I need to communicate right in that moment. So she's just going right for that food, okay? So eventually what she's going to start doing is she's going to start seeking for the, the, seeking for the food by putting her face under the pillow, right? So I put it right under there. And when that starts <laughs> to happen, that's where I can name it. Shame on you, yes. Good girl, right? So right as she starts to do it is when I add the word, shame on you. Yes, good job, right? That one I kind of cued her to do. Good girl, my bad. Hey, shame on you. Yes, good job. But it has to be predictable. So after your dog is pre able to be predicted um, that they're going to put their face under the pillow, that's when you start to name it, okay? It might take your dog a couple sessions. This dog has known this trick since she was like one year old. So uh, we're gonna wait till she tries to put her face under the pillow. Yes, and I can mark and reward it. I should have named it, but I got busy blabbering. Shame on you. Oh, that's not really it. <laughs> really cute little booper there. Shame on you. Yes, good job. All right, I'll do a couple more of those. Good girl, right? So there's no food under it anymore. And she's gonna put her face under it. Shame on you. Yes, good job. All right, so super easy trick, super cute. At the end, if you, you could do this little thing for emphasis for fun, if you're like showing it to somebody, Celia. Shame on you. Yes, I wasn't really hidden under it, but I was pretty happy with how cute you looked with it. So very easy trick, very cute trick. That's shame on you. 
All right, so next is how to teach your dog to jump into your arms. So the very first step is we have to get your dog confidently jumping up into your lap. This trick is new for Monster here. So she might make some mistakes, she might hesitate, and it's okay, I'll help show you how to deal with those things. Now, first of all, make sure you have a dog that's an appropriate size. All right, don't teach your Great Dane how to jump into your arms. It's not the best hit. So this is suited for a more medium size to smaller size dog. Monster, I know, isn't he fun? Sit. Good girl. So I'm going to get some snacks. I'm going to put the snack in my right hand since she's coming up on my left side. I want her to get the snack across my body over here. So we'll probably see some hesitation. So first your dog has to understand how to jump up onto an object confidently and off of it just like with a back stall. If they're good with that, they're going to be a lot more um, uh, likely to jump onto your lap. So from here, I'm going to get her to jump into my lap. I personally use the cue hooray to get her to jump up here because that's what I want as my end cue. Monster, hooray! Yes, and you notice I kind of tap on my lap a little bit just to add some encouragement. And I also want to get the dog used to being up off the ground in my arms, not with stable support, right? So she's still new with this. So you'll see I'm feeding her a lot. So she is comfortable with being up in the air. When I first started this with her, free, she, um, she wouldn't eat when she was in my hands because she was like, what is happening? So that's common to happen first. If so, just put your dog on the ground and then pay them. And eventually as they get used to this, they will get more confident with being held in your arms. So I'm gonna do this again with her and then we can start adding a little bit more height. Sit. Good girl. Hooray! Yes, good girl. So I get her up, and then I'll hold her here. Free, and I get her down. Very nice. Okay, so I'm gonna add a little bit more height. So you can do this with like a, a stool. Like I use a stool sometimes, like if I'm not in my training center, I'm practicing this in the house. I'll use like a bar stool, and I'll get her to jump on my lap while I'm sitting on the bar stool. And then you can use some pillows to slowly start to add some height. You can do this in a regular dining room chair as well. So let me go ahead and grab some more platforms. Monster, up. Good girl. All right, a little bit more height. You want to do this very gradually. Monster, come. Good, sit. Good. So we slightly increase it. Thank you. So we slightly increase the height. Just a little bit of increase, the dog's gonna pick up on that. We might see her attitude go down because she's gonna be a little unsure, or we might see her get a little confused, okay? So from here, I'll get my treats ready. Hooray! Yes, all right. Very good successful repetition right there. And then I'm gonna put her right on the ground, free. And then add a little bit more height. Hooray! Yes, good job. Add some more height, free. That's super. So you see I'm kind of standing and slightly sitting, so we might see some confusion here. Hooray! Never mind. Yes. I love when that happens. And I'll pay her. Very good. And we'll do a little bit more height. Free. So I want to be slightly at angle, and this is where we're going to end. And eventually you can just stand straight up and do this. But I'm going to be at a little bit of an angle to help her out because this is a big step for her. Hooray! Yes, that was perfect. <laughs> That's actually the first time she's done it from me standing like that um, in this room. I, we've done it in the house and up at the boarding house, but I'm really proud of her because she's pretty sensitive to different environments. So yeah, that's how we start teaching the dog how to jump into our arms. It's a super fun trick and it's super cute. And over time, it actually helps build their confidence with being picked up as well. All right, next up, we're teaching the dog to put their feet on your feet while they're between your legs, okay? So I call this command toes, but you need to, what your dog needs to know is how to go between your legs before you even start teaching this trick. So if your dog doesn't know how to go between your legs, not confident in that position, teach that first. Then you can do this one. So a really fun trick is actually a lot easier than I initially thought it would be. So first you get your dog under, under. And she does this little spin thing to get under, which I personally like, yes. So when the dog is under you, Keep their face busy so that you can get your feet ready. So you want your feet to be tilted inwards. It's really awkward feeling at first, but then you can lure the dog onto your toes, just like this. Yes, and then pay when they touch your toes. Good job, yes, just like that, okay? So in the beginning, you have to have your feet bent in to kind of help them out, help them teach that target. Monster's been practicing, yes, this one for a while, so she's pretty confident, yes, with her feet on my feet. So for her, it's easy. Your dogs might need a little bit more work to get their feet um, on your feet. Yes, so free. There we go. So we're gonna do this again. Monster, under, 
I get her under, good girl. And then I get, keep her mouth busy while I adjust my toes. And then I can lure her right onto my toes. Yes, and I can pay right here. Yes, just like that. Yes, yes. Free, very good. So then we're gonna start having our feet positioned like a normal person now and actually moving forward. Obviously make sure your dog is consistently touching your dog before you do that. Yes, you're so cute. Under, get my dog under. And then I'm going to go ahead and lure her feet right onto my toes. This time I have my feet pointed slightly inwards, not yes, nearly as drastic as it was before. And then if I wanna start adding some movement, I can lure her and move my feet. And your dog's feet are supposed to stay on your toes like this, just like that, right? Now her foot came off a little bit there, no big deal. She reset, she fixed it, free. And then I can free the dog, okay? And then over time, you can fade out the lures, you can fade out the help, you can straighten out your feet more under, Good girl. And you can start adding the cue. Toes. Yes, good girl. Yes, good job. And then I can start, yes, walking with her feet on my feet. Yes, super silly trick, super fun trick. I absolutely love it. Free. Good girl. I call it toes. I've heard people call it other things. Um, but yeah, that's how you teach your dog toes. Next trick is crawl. So. Army crawling, your dog's belly is on the ground, they're moving their legs, they're doing the shimmy thing, it's really cute. So obviously your dog needs to know how to be in a down position and be comfortable in that position before you can teach crawl. So after your dog knows a nice down, then you can start teaching the dog to move forward a little bit. So I start off with putting the lure right in her face, having it towards the ground, moving it just a teeny bit, yes, marking and rewarding any little effort. This is easier for some dogs, it's harder for other dogs. Other dogs, you might need to use your arm as a guide if they try to pop up from that down position. You can guide the arm, don't push it down, it's just there to help guide them so they're less likely to get up. So, very easy crawl, and then we introduce the snack. Yes, we pay that effort, and then you can introduce more and more um, distance that the dog is crawling. Crawl. Yes, good job. Crawl. Yes, good job. Crawl. And then over time, your dog's going to get comfortable with that. Now, we got the dog crawling when we're on the ground next to them. A lot of us want our dogs to be in a down away from us and be able to crawl to you from a longer distance, all right? This is how you get that. So first of all, your dog has to understand how to touch a target, right? I'm using this one here because initially I put peanut butter on this and I would have her lick it as I moved it. Now she's really good at touching it, so I don't have to do that, but you can do that with your dog if they have any issues. So shoehorn, just straight from Amazon, very easy. Uh, so I'm gonna put it right in front of her face and I'm gonna tell her crawl. Yes, good job, now mark. And I'll pay her on the ground between her feet. Kind of important where the reward comes from because your dog's gonna wanna be a magnet to where it's coming from. Oh, are we gonna roll over now? Is this what we're doing? <laughs> okay, come here, bud. Good, down, good, stay. Let's wander to stop crawling. There we go, so I gave her a stay. All right, here we go. Crawl, yes, so I start off with the target closer to her, and then I can move it further. That's not, that's a bug. Crawl. Yes, there we go. She's kind of looking around there, a little confused exactly where she was going, no big deal. I just waited until she re-engaged with the target. So I'm gonna move it further. Stay. Crawl. Yes, and she's anticipating a little bit. She's crawling a little bit more before I want her to. It's okay. Good girl, stay. And I'm gonna go even further this time. Crawl. Oh, you cheated. <laughs> yes. So oftentimes, I'll show you how to deal with that because your dog's going to do that at some point. Monster free, down. So when they start, here we go. When they start wanting to get up to move because that's easier, I'll throw in a down command and then we'll start over. All right, so the dog starts to anticipate, oh, I'm getting up, she's gonna want me to down, so I'm just gonna be closer to the ground. So, crawl. Yes, there we go, very good. But I like this target because I can get that distance and it's coming from down here. Good girl, crawl, down. So there she goes, she tried to cheat again, stay. Good girl, she's trying to follow my visual cues, that's okay, stay, good girl. Try again, crawl. 
Good girl. Yes, there we go. And over time, you can fade that out. I have this silly little hand signal where I do like a little man walking like this. So <laughs> she's getting her freeze dried treats really quick. Good girl. So I'm going to give her that cue so you can see it without any more targets. The finished product. Crawl. Good girl. Crawl. Good job. Good job. Yes. <laughs> that's good enough. I'm happy with that. And that's how you teach your dog the army crawl. <laughs> Thanks again for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell. If you want to support the channel, of course, as always, hit that join button and we'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks again. Thank you.